All right, so now let's jump to the last command that we have in order to change the structure of our database, and that is a drop command. If you want to delete a table, so you say, okay, this table is completely wrong. I don't want it at my database. You could go and drop the table, and that's pretty easy. You could do it like this. So let's say we want to drop the new table that we have that's called persons. So we use the keyword drop table and just write down here that table name and that's it so once you execute that the table persons will not exist at your database so i'm gonna delete it and as you can see on the left side you will not have the table persons so it's really simple all right guys so that's all for the last chapter and not only that that's all for this sql course hey i'm really proud of you that you made it until the end and i hope that you enjoyed the journey if this video helped you to start with sql i really appreciate it if you support me by liking and sharing the content and in the next sql course you will learn more advanced sql topics especially if you are planning to be a data science or a data analyst we're gonna cover topics like the window functions which is very important for analytics like ranking and aggregate functions then we're gonna do a deep dive into sub queries in sql and after that we're gonna learn about the common table expression CTE and then we have another chapter where we're gonna talk about the set operations like union intersect and accept and at the end we're gonna cover the most important date and time functions in SQL and now if you enjoy this course and you want to support my content then you can go and support like and comment this really helps with the YouTube algorithm and of course if you have any questions or topics that you want me to cover in the future or you want to give me a feedback leave a comment down below well nothing left to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.